Welcome to uh, another episode of the RXP Soundstage, another edition, and uh, we're happy to be joined in the soundstage right now uh, by Van of Catfish and the Bottleman. Hello, mate. Uh, how you doing? Amazing, mate. Really good. Really yeah. Good. How, so how's how's the road treating you right now? Good, but we've been uh, we've had two days off the last two days, and it's like in the middle of nowhere, so we've all got cabin fever, we're all going crazy. So <laughs> we're excited to come and play now. Like I'm excited to get out the house, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, so so far the road. Uh, are you, uh, you know, the crowd's getting bigger, are people getting more excited about your music? I know people are, are really excited about Kathleen on RXP right now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been crazy, like, to come over, to come over here and, um, like, sell, every show's been sold out, so to sell every show out, like, it took us, took us, like, seven or eight years to get this many people in England, like, to come over here and do this off the first tour is just crazy for us, you know what I mean? So, it's, yeah, it's been really good, and over here, they're, they're like, more... Everybody, like, if you come out and go, we want to be the biggest band in the world, instead of, like, in England, they're like, who do you think you are? Like, over here, they're like, go on, mate. Go on, why not? Why not? So, so you want to be the biggest band in the world? Yeah, why wouldn't you want to be? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. What, but, uh, like, not in an arrogant way, but just, like, why wouldn't you want to be the best that you could be? If I was going to be a bin man or a dad, I'd want to be the best dad in the world. Do you know what I mean? It's just the same as anything. If I was going to be the bin man, I'd be the quickest at picking up, picking up litter in the, on the West Coast. Do you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> I just think, yeah, I'd never been a millionaire, and I've heard it's really good, so... <laughs> Why not? Yeah. So with a million dollars, what would be the first thing you would do with it? If someone Put it signed in the bank, you get interest on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh no, I, I'm not I'm not fussed about money, me, but I you know, like it'd be good to, you know, make him do stuff for money. You know what I mean? I just make it I just make him do loads of stuff, like naked for money. <laughs> That's probably what I do. I don't. I've got. I, I've, I don't buy anything. I drink tea. I smoke cigarettes. That's all I ever do in my whole life. And then. Dan gets me like my food, it'd be like bananas and stuff. So we don't really do much, we're dead simple, so we don't need money, but I imagine it'd be funny to get a helicopter to work and stuff like that. Like a helicopter to come here. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> to drop you off. Yeah. We talked about that Why not? Yeah. Why not? Did you really? <laughs> yeah, without, we, want to just, we want to come into places and just be dropped Doesn't off. Everyone. Doesn't everyone? That's fantastic. Doesn't everyone? That's why you've got to be imagine going on tour and just going to each city <laughs> with a helicopter, just being like, all right, I'm just going to be dropped off right now. Uh, exactly. Why not want it? Why not want a hel helicopter? You know what I mean? Why not? <laughs> why not strive for the helicopter? Even if you don't get it, you're striving for the highest. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Why not? Why not? Now there is something that I always ask um, people that are not from the states because they, first of all, they think it's weird and uh, disgusting. But have you yet tried cheese in a can? Cheese in a can? Yes. Uh, no. You need to. Cheese in a can. Does that sound disgusting or is are it you a drink? Or a food? No, you just put it on, you know, a cracker. On a cracker. It's like spread, <laughs> but it's uh, e easy no. cheese. No, I w I'm not really big cheese man anyway. I like I like me I like me American Triangle cheese from Subway, but that's about it. <laughs> so, canned cheese won't be won't be on my rider. Well, you gotta try that when you're in the can States. cheese. Why? What's so good about easy, it? Easy. It's because it's good. It's easy cheese. You just shake it. You put it on a can, or you put it on a, a cracker, and you just eat it. Sweet. I know that sounds really lame. I'll give, I'll give Larry some money to try it in a bit. <laughs> it sounds really lame, but it's spectacular. Wow. Are you down with easy spectacular cheese? Spectacular is the uh, word you use. I've had easy cheese. I've lived on easy cheese. For really? Yeah, yeah. You've lived on it? They're really cheap. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there you go. Cheese I might be able to practice. get a few cans then. There you go. <laughs> might not need to be a millionaire to buy a load of them. You can just go to 7-Eleven right now. And they pick sell up. it there? Yeah. Easy cheese. You just eat it on its own sometimes. Could you just eat it like that? I guess, yeah. I think you do. I've squeezed it. Just squeeze it in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Instead of like whipped cream and whippets, just do we easy cheese. Some. No, man. <laughs> I like them banana cream yogurts you got over here. They're good. What are they called? Oticons or something? O Oinkins. You've got some good banana cream yogurts. <laughs> Oikos. Oikos, yeah. <sighs> Someone shake Oikos hand because they're good yogurts then. <laughs> and banana cream yogurts. <laughs> So, uh, so I got to ask, uh, where, what is uh, grab you by the balls, and where did that come from? What, what is that all about? Uh, I, it's someone at the label thinking they're like, really, that's hip. not even you at like, all. Oh my god, we invented a hashtag. <laughs> no, it's just like I guess because the album's like that. Yeah, I see. But the other one's a girl, so I don't know what they're trying to say there on the on the album cover. <laughs> so I don't know. Not you guys, the album cover. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but no, they just they just made it. Oh, I don't know. I think they're trying to say. This band grab you by the balls, but it's just a daft thing they say. So, so it's a statement made up by somebody else. It's yeah, not made well, up it's by like the. Uh, no, we didn't make it. Up. We don't make we don't make statements up. I was no, covering they, up when you walked in, just no, in yeah, case. No, yeah. the, the, it's like a, we've got like a. <laughs> gonna grab your balls, Chris, watch out. We've, we've got like a a Blackpool stat. Like I grab balls, but I've not got like a. 
I haven't got my own hashtag, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, my, it's not my thing. But yeah. like, we, we've got like a cutout where you can put your heads in where their I heads are. I saw the pictures on your website. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's so people can tweet the photos and it'll all go to one place. Like, it's very yeah. boring, very boring. I wish it was a better, better. I wish it was that one that we go around just grabbing balls and everyone's like hashtagging it. Yeah. These guys are crazy. Don't stop them. grabbing balls, these guys. For this is every before. picture you do, you should just grab your balls yeah, in yeah. the picture. There you go. <laughs> Now, your last album, The Balcony, uh, was yeah. released last year. Is there already something in the works with a new album? And, yeah. And, you know, any secrets you could tell us about it? Secrets. Uh, release I dates, can't say any secrets, but it's songs. done. I guess that's a secret if you don't know that. Okay. So um. keep that to yourself. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's done. It's ready. It's, it's, it's all like, I've been, over the last two days, I've just been finalizing it. We need to go record some demos and then we can get a producer going and then, record it but we, we we like we've always been a band that have been prepared like when we recorded this we had, we had like 100 songs left over so we've got like we always said because we're from the middle of nowhere if anybody came to sign us we were always like we've got to be prepared we don't want to be a band that goes to Miami and tries to rediscover themselves for three years you know right. what I mean like we'd, we're not that kind of band we're just like a kind of brain dead rock and roll group that's 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 how we kind of see it without saying that we're daft you know what I mean but that's just straight up simple pop rock songs so it's quite it's pretty we don't it, we don't try and expand our minds or anything like. You don't overthink it. No, no, it's just very like. Whilst everyone's outside the box, we're trying to stay inside it because everyone's, everyone's doing the computer and good-looking quiff thing, aren't they? <laughs> so we'll do the scruffy. Heavy uh, thing. Yesterday, I, I played for our side track. We do um, like a B-side side track every morning, yeah. and yesterday morning we played uh, "Read My Mind." Uh, you covered that from the Killers. Yeah. Is there a reason why you covered? Killer tunes. We are, we, we're doing that session in Australia called Triple J, like like a version, mm -hmm. and like uh, we had to do a cover, and they kept saying no to everything we did because we didn't know what was cool and what wasn't. So we were gonna do Jet out there, you know? Are you gonna be my girl? But with the doors in it, it was gonna be badass. Like nice. it's gonna be good. But uh, you always do that now. Like. I don't, I don't, but we learned. No we learnt, pressure. But I only did that thing on the spot because we got in there and they were like, you can't do Jet because Jet aren't cool anymore, and we like. Wait, so what? It's a good song, you know what I mean? And then <laughs> they won't let us do it, so I just had to make some up on the spot. Like, I made it up on... Have you seen it, have you seen it when I make a mistake? Yeah. I, don't, I, I just got a, our, the lyrics for it printed out and just learned it on the spot, so it was, just a little, it was just a blag, but I think that's why people liked it. It went, like, viral and got us into the charts over there and stuff like that, so I think that's why people liked it, because it was just like, just like how we are, just brain-dead simple. Well, it is a fantastic cover. Thank you. Yeah, Thank awesome. you very much. We really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but uh, I do love that song. The lyrics in that song are so good. It's good. Yeah, and actually, actually, Nomi likes it better than the original, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's thank great. you. I, I, I told them yesterday, I'm like, I don't know if I'm just, like, totally burnt out on the song. Or yeah, something, yeah. But I've been there. the way you did it, it sounded different. It was, like, refreshing. Oh, thank you. And that's why I was like, I'm totally digging this more than the original. <laughs> oh, thank you. Got our Kelly in at the end, though. That's probably right. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. He, was, like, he double took um, to the screen. He was like, wait, did something change? I'm like, just go with it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you said you guys are from the middle of nowhere. How do yeah. you pronounce the name of your uh, hometown? Um, we live, with, so we grew up in a place called Landidno. It's like, I can't even say it. Cause I'm, so I'm our guitar player. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, our guitar player is from Newcastle. I'm from just outside of Liverpool, but we moved there when we were kids, like uh, the other three in the band. And so we're not Welsh, so we say it wrong as well. So they haven't got us for saying it wrong. So we just nice. try not to say it now. Do we just say the middle like of nowhere. Joy from Edible all the time. Where are they from? Are they from? Yeah, they're from Wales. Yeah, but whereabouts? Wales is... You know that area right there. Because <laughs> right we're we're right at the top, and I, 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 everyone I've met in bands like the Stereophonics and stuff like that, they're right at the bottom, which is five hours apart. So wow, so it it's like there's like a state, like the state of Colorado. Yeah, 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 totally. Well, you should so know everybody. Come on. Nearly, <laughs> nearly. They'll all know you eventually. You never know. Uh, so it's small town. Ticket. Small town. Yeah, oh. very small town. We like we saw more tickets in a day in London a couple of weeks ago than we have people in our town. That's oh fantastic. God. We did like 10,000 in a day or something or whatever. And I think there's like, oh no, it wasn't that gig, was it? Or was it? Yeah. So that's awesome. That's more people than. <laughs> kind of a blue collar town, town or a. A blue collar like town. A blue, like a hard working town. Uh, I don't it, know. No. Not really. That's blue collar. That's, a, that's an American thing. Like town. a hard working kind of industrial town. Right. It's a blue collar town. It's more like a seaside town. Like where I'm from, it, yeah. like. And where Bondi's from, our guitar player, that is, that's more like industrial kind of like, you know, grafters on building sites. But in London, no, it's more like bed and breakfasts and seagulls. Well, nice. It's kind of, 
<laughs> since the town was so small and everything, yeah. was uh, dating in high school and everything uh, a pain? Because you Not know for me. everybody. Pretty good. <laughs> Wasn't a pain for me. No, no, I don't. Uh, Dating in high school you know was it? Everybody you grew up yeah, with that's them. that. Well, that was the that's the thing. Like the first the first record's pretty much about like everyone knowing everyone's business. You know what I mean? If you knew five people in that town, you knew everything about everyone. Because between the five of you, you'd have a story about any person that walked into like your local bar. You'd be like, oh, "Have you heard about him? Heard what he's just been up to?" And like everybody know everything. So it was so small that you'd know everything. But like I don't know, dating and stuff. I don't I don't I don't really know. It was all I got. I, what's what's good and what's bad? I had a girlfriend. A few times, <laughs> I guess. He was good. He was good. Because he, he looks Mexican. Nobody ever seen anything like him wearing bandanas and that to school. <laughs> he, had his, he had his hair shaved like a, a spider web when we were in school. Nice. And, and he put gel on it so it was sticky. The girls loved him. He was wild. He had red hair. He was mad. He was wild. I, I, I had about one girlfriend, one and a half girlfriends over like the space my whole time. And he was there like racking it so up. So the spider head haircut is how to get ladies. In, in high school. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get arrested around here. But in, in England, it was, he did pretty well with it. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you're going to be uh, performing uh, a tune here. Uh, what tune are you starting off with? Um, Kathleen. Kathleen, that's cool with you. This, thank you for playing this, by the way. No, very thank much. thank you guys uh, so much for coming in. No, you're very welcome. Anytime, no problem. My voice is a bit hoarse. So I apologise. See, that's why you need easy cheese. Easy cheese. That's worse. You can't eat dairy. <laughs> that's terrible for you. You're simpatical, and of all the lifts home and all the mixed feelings, you cut above. And you don't know worries are a chest full of heartache And yes, I know That'll never work out exactly how you're thinking But let me know when I'm needed home And I come You can leather me with your lips Your lips your lips I gotta give it to you You give me problems When you are not in the mood I gotta give it to you You give me problems Or make me give it to you Our dealer hates me, no He used to see her but she sold In my front down the river yeah. It's impractical To go out and catch your death With a dress fit for the summer And so you don't Instead you call me up With a head full of filth and Yes I know That I'll never acquiesce Anything you're thinking But let me know When you want me home and I come, I will come You can leather me with your lips Your lips, your lips I gotta give it to you You give me problems when you are not in the mood I gotta give it to you You give me problems or make me give it to you I deal with hate, you know. He used to see her, but she sold. In my front down the river. Yeah. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you now, much. out of all of the songs that you guys perform on uh, either on stage or even from the uh, last album, The Balcony, is there a particular song that is your ultimate favorite out of all of them? Uh, Cocoon or Hourglass for me. Why is that? Um, I think Cocoon has got the, the best lyrics and it's like the biggest sounding song. I wrote it in New York as well, so it's like, it's like a, I've got like an affiliation with the song in like America. I like the enormity of it. It's a, it's a, it's like a big. I, I wanted to write like a big 
kind of like like a worry less kind of song like nothing matters like you know you don't need anything in the world as long as you've got I've got you and you've got me and we're happy nothing else around us matters kind of song so uh it was just one of them songs and I think I like nailed I'd said exactly I said it said that song exactly how I wanted to say it kind of thing and live when we play it, it just goes crazy it goes off like especially in England it's mad people like flares and stuff and throw them around so, so, in, your, so in your mind it's a perfect song of exactly what you wanted yeah it's exactly what I want. it's just like you know when you say something exactly right that, yeah. that was exactly it so it, I did and it's on FIFA the football game do you know the football game yeah That's, that was my all time dream when I was a kid because we grew up playing the <laughs> FIFA on the Playstation and stuff like that and that song got on the game so that just blew my head off so. so do you own the game since it's on there? Yeah, yeah. I don't own the, the rights to it, but I own, no, I own but a copy. You get a bunch of copies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we, uh, no, we, we bought it. We don't, we don't take free copies. <laughs> we, we, we bought it since we were babies, you know what I mean? So we'll, sti we'll still buy it now. Like, it's the only thing, if you've got pocket money, that's all you used to buy. Like, you know what I mean? Save it all up for that game. But, um, yeah, it was just it was a dead proud moment for us. Everybody asks us at home, like, what's your proudest moment? And it's like over getting signed and selling loads of tickets is getting on that one game. Because yeah. it's like, you know, just the little things that you get when, you, when you're growing up. That's the, when you can tell your cousins and your best mates that you're on the football game. Everyone's like, what? And that's it's class. forever. Like, you can go back and put exactly. the game in if you, like, check it out. Exactly. And there's a lot of fantastic <laughs> artists that um, happen to get on video games in general, and it's mind-blowing on how that's becoming a thing. Yeah, yeah. What's your next goal to, you know, accomplish where it's going to blow your mind? Like, a movie, uh, soundtrack? That will blow... The next FIFA? The ne next year? <laughs> like, you make it every year, if it keeps happening, it'll just blow my mind. That's, what, that's why I'm trying to write albums so quick so we can get on every FIFA. It's every September, so we got to <laughs> get a single out before every September. Um, everything, blo honestly, everything blows my mind. Like, the fact that I'm in America now, like, we're f we are from the middle of nowhere, you know what I mean? So when I can call my dad and go, Dad, guess where I am? And he's like, where? And I'm like, LA. And he's like, what are you doing in LA? In LA? I'm like, walking the dog on the beach. It's freezing here, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like... Everything is mind blowing to us, so it's kind of hard to say what is like because we're always just like what, you know what I mean? Like, like tonight, tonight sold out, right? Is that right, Dan? Yeah, that's mad. Where are we? Are we? I don't know where we are. Colorado. Yeah, but You're where is Col that? <laughs> You're in Colorado. In Denver. You're in Denver. <laughs> yeah, but where where is that on the map? The middle. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's right How far here away from LA? in that circle. Long way. It's right here. That's crazy. <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? Like selling out a show over here. Like I don't know anybody over here, so it's not my mates. That's great. It's crazy. <laughs> do you play another song for us? Yeah, of course. Sweet. Yeah. All right. What do, do you, you What are you playing for us this time? Uh, do you want me to play Pacifier? Is that what you guys want? Is that whatever your heart yeah. desires? Whatever you just want. It's up to you. If you just want anything else, tell me. <laughs> Go whatever for your heart desires. I've got. I'd like to play Cocoon, but I swear in it, and you'll have to reverse it, and it won't be the same song. Could we just have you play it? Yeah. Just do, it. Just, just do it. Just do it. Oh, let's do it then. Get, just get, <laughs> get crazy. This is my jam. Get now. wild. I like this song. Okay. I feel straight into your arms like a drunk. It's been on it all morning, and the sun's up, and my head's fucked, and immediate. You grab you, you go all right Like the first time, I love it when you do that Gotta love it when you do that I remember when we swapped names And I thought maybe you'd stay And try and out drink me Your friends all hated it Fuck it if they talk Fuck it if they try and get to us Cause I'd rather go blind And let you down I come round your shoulders When you're half cut And you're frozen And you got that visible breathing You're dependent on me again I remember when we swat names and I thought maybe you'd stay and try and out drink me. Your friends all hated it. Fuck it if they talk. Fuck it if they try and get to us. Cause I'd rather go blind and let it down. Fuck it if they talk Fuck it if they try and get to us Cause 
I'd rather go blind and let you down And if you wanna sit down and pose as positive And hide smoking from relatives And rest on me, honey, that's alright If you wanna act more drunk than you should to help you Get away with more than rest on me Honey, that's alright Honey, that's alright But fuck it if they talk And fuck it if they try and get to us I'd rather go blind than let you know I get up in the evening And I ain't got nothing to see I go in the morning I go to bed feeling the same Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, playing for us. Mate, you're very, you want me to hold that for you? Okay. No, it's all good. <laughs> oh, no, thank you very much for having me, mate. Honestly, it's a pleasure. No problem at all for me. And so uh, yeah, best of best of luck in the future. Thank I, you. I really, really love your band. And uh, thank you and very I'm much. Really excited about it. So. Cheers. If you just want to come tonight, let, let us know. We'll, we'll sort, sort you out on the list if you want anybody wants to come. Just no problem. To see if I can get a pass from the wife. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, thanks to everybody who uh, checking out the uh, RXP soundstage. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I got to thank uh, Nolan Campbell Photography, uh, Royal Recordings for uh, for setting everything up and taking pictures, and and thanks to Van from Catfish in the Bottle. Mate, thank you very much. My honor.